Hi everyone. So next up we're going to have the green juices and every morning after I have my lemon water or my apple cider vinegar and my bread soda I, I will have my green juice. The main ingredient for my green juice is celery and um, spinach, bok choy, any green vegetable you have or lettuce leaf you have. Um, cucumber is also an amazing thing to have because there's a lot of juice in it, there's a lot of water. So here we have the ginger which is great for inflammation. We have the lemon for vitamin C and we have the apple which adds a bit of sweetness. You don't necessarily have to have it but I'll have a quarter in this. Good to get ginger organic. There's a lot of pesticides used in, in the growing of ginger. So with uh, lemons, there's waxed and unwaxed lemons in the supermarket. I usually go for the unwaxed organic lemons. And why do I do that? Because I don't want to be eating the wax. Um, so unfortunately, they didn't have any organic lemon. So I'm taking off this. But I will put, I will, when I juice this lemon, I will take this pectin and sometimes put it in my smoothie because that's great roughage and it's actually very good um, just cleaning out your whole system and alkalizing the body because that's what we want our body to be in, an alkalized state. Um, diseases can survive and most diseases can survive in an alkaline body. Um, so that's why we want to be up there on the scale of 7.7 .7, uh, to keep in our bodies alkaline. And then an apple to, uh, to sweeten up everything. A lot of people who are going through a, uh, strict diets will not have the apple because at the end of the day it is fruit sugars going into your body and um, I will have a little bit of apple most days and um, I, I, I it's, it's agreeing with me cut down the lemon stop talking usually start with the soggiest of uh, fruits and veg so the lemons is, is a good one to go in first and then the cucumbers and then the other ones will push the others right through yeah and um, I was told by a naturopath that I should be drinking one and a half liters of juice a day vegetable juice why do I do that um, because I want to help my body heal and I want to uh, produce as much enzymes so my digestive system is not working over time. When you eat raw food or you drink raw juices, um, you're, you're not given too much work for your body. So in doing that, the body is able to heal itself a little bit more. Next, we're gonna put in the celery, why not? Celery is a great thing to fly through the juicer. By the way, this is a, a wheatgrass juicer. I know I'm putting vegetables through it, um, but it's a very good slow juicer and um, gets out basically everything and if it doesn't you can always put it back in if you feel like there's still more juice in that um, and to wait wait to waste nothing you could also um, make little patties out of these and put them into your dehydrator and make little crackers out of you know any vegetables that you put through and um, you could lash a few flax seeds together with the vegetables and the flax seeds will soak up the the water from the vegetables and make lovely little um, crackers. I'm just going to pour a little bit of that celery juice out because I love celery juice and cucumber juice on its own. It's, uh, it's absolutely marvellous. I once met a woman um, when I was doing the hyperbaric chamber to get oxygen into my cells and um, she told me that the time that she was diagnosed she she never got worse from having ms um, and that was i think 15 years prior so just shows how potent this little plant is okay next up is your lettuce leaves and your bok choy and your lovely little spinach which you've washed I would never ever buy in organic spinach ever ever because basically every single leaf of that spinach has been sprayed with chemicals and it has the most amount of badness per square meter or per, per millimeter or whatever so yeah when I see people buying in organic spinach 
I'm like, oh my God, don't do it. So when you drink this juice fresh, the, the enzymes will go straight into you. But if you leave it, the enzymes die over time. So, you know, when you see all those juices not freshly made in the shops, how much enzymes are actually in those juices? And here we have spinach, which is a mighty vegetable. Sometimes you have to use a celery thing to push down the spinach as well, because it gets trapped in the coil. And that's okay, because why? We love celery juice. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then some ginger. And then some apple. So your juicing should only take about an hour from start to finish, even if you were juicing two or two and a half liters for your family a day. Um, it would be so beneficial for you all to have that um, for your lunch. And first thing before you eat anything in the morning, drink a juice, introduce that to your body, make your body alkaline, tell your body that you're, you're in control and you're uh, going to heal it as best you can. And by doing that, you are. This juicer is probably the best investment I've ever made in, in terms of healing my body. I'm always telling people to buy a juicer. It's 300 euro, but it's, it's a lifetime um, thing. It is great because it doesn't have any blades and it uses a coil and a sieve to compress the vegetables and fruit out of it. So you're getting the best of everything and then you bottle it immediately and stick it into your fridge so it preserves the enzymes for you to drink it slowly during the day. So in some of the cancer hospitals, they give 12 juices a day to patients. I would recommend definitely have one if you can work up to one and a half, especially those of you who might be affected with some disease or, or ill health. These are great.